Welcome to our lecture online. Now this is a problem you can do in a mere few seconds if you realize what's going on. So let's read the problem and see if we can do it that quickly. It deals with electric flux and it says that a charge Q, right here, is placed at one corner of a cube as shown in the figure. So they were nice enough to give us a figure, although they kind of have to, otherwise it would be difficult to depict the problem. The flux of the electrostatic field E through the shaded area is... Well, first of all, we need to understand the concept of flux. And we realize the equation is that the electric flux is equal to the strength of the electric field times the area through which it goes. Also, using uh, what we'd call Gauss's law, we can think of the electric flux through a Gaussian surface around a, a point charge as follows. We can also say that the electric field strength is equal to the charge inside divided by epsilon sub naught. And maybe I'll write the epsilon like this, epsilon sub naught. There we go. So, if we then multiply the times the area, or also the idea though, of course, is that um, the flux would then be area times electric field. So if we multiply both sides by the area, then we have the flux is equal to Q over epsilon sub naught times the area. But now we're looking for the fraction of that flux that goes to the shaded area right here. So we need to understand this. All of the flux goes in all directions, right? If we put a sphere around the charge, we can see the flux going to all directions. But if we put a cube around it, notice that this is just at the corner of a single cube. There would be another cube on this side, another cube on the back side, another cube on this side, and four more cubes on the bottom. If we want to envelop that charge by these cubes, there would be eight total cubes, and there's only one cube in consideration here. So first of all, the fact that there's eight out of, one out of eight cubes that only takes part of the flux, the flux goes into all the other directions as well, not through the cube, then we know that we already have one eight of that. So the fact that we have one cube, we can say that the flux is therefore equal to one eight Q over epsilon sub naught. The fact that we have one cube, but that would then mean that the flux goes to all three sides of this cube, the top side, this side, and that side of the cube as it goes out. Notice the other sides are borderline to the other cubes around it. And then notice that if we take this shaded area and put it up here, that would take care of one side of the three through which the flux would go. So only about one third, or exactly one third, of the flux would go to the shaded area. Two thirds of the flux would go to the unshaded area. So that means that we then have to multiply the fact that we have uh, one third of the area is shaded. We then take the flux as being one third times one eight times Q over epsilon sub naught. And so that means that only 1 24th of all the flux will go through the shaded area of the one cube. So again, one out of eight cubes, so one eight of the flux goes to the entire cube, these three sides, side one, side two, side three, the other sides are taken up by the other cubes, and only one third of the three sides is shaded, two thirds is not shaded, so we take one third of one eight or one twenty-fourth of Q over epsilon sub naught, which means that answer C is the correct answer. So you can actually think about that very quickly. First of all, we realize that the flux is E times A. Using Gauss's law, we know that the electric field is Q over epsilon sub naught. Multiply both sides by E, that gives you Q. Uh, oh, sorry, not Q. I'm going to confuse everybody. I meant flux, of course, electric flux. And so then it's simply a fraction of Q over epsilon sub naught, since that one cube is one eight, and each cube, the cube is only one third shaded, so it's one third of one eight, or one twenty fourth of Q over epsilon sub naught. The fastest way to do the problem, hopefully that will give you some extra time to spend on the next problem. And that is how it's done.